Yo, what's up? It's LA. Jazzy Amra, what's happening? What's up? What's up? Here in Philly. You already know with the kids. VH1 saved the music. You just came from the Grammys. How was that? Oh my God, it was incredible. I envisioned myself on that stage. I envisioned. Um, I was. Uh, I saw all my favorite artists. I was super inspired and it just gave me more motivation to keep doing what I'm doing. That's so hype. What was it like seeing that? Like, we you know, in your head, were you like, Oh my God, what was that like? It's a surreal feeling because growing up, I've always loved music as a child. And then to be at the place where all the greatness goes down, it's yeah. like, wait, I'm really here? My mom would have been so proud. That's amazing. It's like the holy mecca. I mean, it is the holy mecca. I mean, the biggest night in music. Night. That's incredible. So you are, you know, on the come up. You're going to be at the Grammy. You're, you know, you're going to oh, perform there one day. Yes. Uh, what, uh, you know, what have you been through that forms your music? Like, and what kind of music do you make that, you know? Do you mind if I hold it? Yeah, you got that, yeah. Um, so, growing up, I didn't have it easy, you know, from foster care to being adopted to not having my mom in my life, not having my dad. And I took all that pain and I made it into something beautiful. I put it in the music. And I know I'm not the only girl that have been through all of that. So I just want to be the voice of those who have been through it. I want to inspire. I want to motivate. So that's my purpose with this music thing. That's awesome. So, in, you want to me? so instead... <laughs> So instead of you doing something bad with it and dragging down with all that negativity, you decide to really embrace it and make something positive out of it. Which is something that Wyclef was saying was, you know, create something positive. Like his mom took the gun out of his hand, put a guitar in it. It kind of metaphor for you as well, or you know what I mean? I took all that pain and I was like, you know what? I'm going to hone it. I'm not going to be embarrassed because I was very embarrassed about my upbringing and I didn't want to tell nobody. I used to cry about it when I used to talk about it, but I decided to take it in. I, used to, I accepted it and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to tell my story to help others because it's for the people. It's for the people. That's awesome. Um, from here, where are you going? What are you doing now? You know, what does your year look like? What's your next month look like? What's popping? So I just dropped my album, it's called Amra. It's out everywhere, my first body of work. You know, it's like an introduction of me as an artist. Um, I talk about my story a little bit and I've been getting a lot of great feedback. A lot of people like, yo, you motivated me to, you know, em embrace my childhood struggle and everything like that. So um, hopefully I go on tour. Um, I want a lot of endorsements. I w it's just a lot, I want yeah. a lot and it's coming. I'm not gonna talk about it too much, yeah. Securing that bag. <laughs> Well, no, uh, you came up on YouTube, you were talking about. Yeah. What was that like? How did you, you know, what words of advice would you give, if that makes sense? Well, um, I was trying to figure out how to get known. Like, when you know you want to do something, you're like, damn, how do I start? So I was like, you know what? Let me start by doing covers. So I would, like, do covers to Alicia Keys or Drake. Um, my favorite artist growing up, Monica, Lauren Hill. So I would just like post them and send them out to people and like tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. So it was all like word of mouth and networking. That's right. And now you're here. And now I'm here. They're jamming back there though, yo. What are they doing back there? <laughs> but that's what it's about. It's about catching the vibe and jamming and doing what you feel. Exactly. I mean, just look at that. that that's I love it. Power music if you feel Absolutely. It. Nice. Music brings everybody together, no matter what color you are, what language you speak, anything. It brings us all together. It's the universal language. Facts. That's absolute facts. That's a fact. And by the way, look at that coat. Oh, thank you. It's white left, though. I took it from him for this interview. This is the softest thing I've ever... Chinchilla. Can you pet it? Like, is it... Yeah, chinchilla. <laughs> Well, hey, uh, good luck. Where can they follow you at? Um, you can follow me at J-A-Z-Z-Y-A-M-R-A. -Z -Z Jazzy Amra on all social media platforms. On the come up. Look out for me. Do that. Wait, well, hey, thank you so much. Thank you. The way that I love you. Yeah.